We now return to Let's Play Nebuchadnezzar. We're now in the Uruk period. The Uruk period is considered one of the most important periods in Mesopotamian history. A number of inventions appeared in this period, and these had a great impact not just in Mesopotamia but around the world as a whole. These include the invention of the pottery wheel, significant progress in writing, and the rise of the first city-states. It is dated between approximately 4000 and 3100 BC. We are not sure what state structures were present in this period. There is no evidence of an empire with Uruk as its capital in this period. The most likely scenario is that there were political structures similar to those of city-states. Still, it is clear that large changes to power structures and dynamics took place during the Uruk period. The ruling stratum gradually emerged, obtaining power in public institutions. This was also related to the development of iconography, a tool which supported these strata. We don't know whether these ruling strata and their institutions were organized more like a palace or a temple. Yet there is no evidence that these institutions controlled the majority of the population as far as production is concerned. The economic aspects of the city remained in the hands of individual houses, whose sizes could range between large public institutions and small family organizations. Uruk was a city founded in the 5th millennium BC. During the 4th millennium BC, it played an important role in the urbanization of Mesopotamia, at which time it had a population of 30 to 50,000. Based on the Sumerian king list, it was also home of the legendary king Gilgamesh. The city was abandoned in the 7th century BC. During the Uruk period, there was great development of public architecture in this city. The temple complex dedicated to the goddess Inanna covered over 4,000 square meters. That's a huge change from the previous period, when the largest known temple had a maximum area of only 280 square meters. This is another clear sign of the significant development of the ability to organize the workforce and obtain materials in this period. Just a little bit more, there we go. King Enmerkar has a very important task for you. You were to build the city of Uruk, and in it, a grand temple to the goddess Inanna. At your service. This time I won't delay you too much, and we'll only introduce some new functions. I won't describe them in detail, and won't hold your hand, okay? As you surely know, the range of haulers can be very limiting, and won't let you transport goods long distances. That's why caravans are for. Caravans transport goods between warehouses, no matter how far they are from each other, and as with sellers, their route needs to be manually configured. The second mechanic is monuments. Monuments are gigantic structures that require huge amounts of resources to complete. They're also a beautiful landmark of your city and provide a huge amount of prestige. And the best thing about them is you can customize them to look just like you want. Alright, so let's actually look at this. Caravans, transport goods between warehouses, as a seller, okay, la la la. Uh, the transport of good, the current maximum goods that can go, okay, basic layout then of the workers. Route configuration. To set up a caravan, you need to add new warehouses by clicking on them. Okay. The caravan then moves between warehouses to transport goods. However, at this point, the caravan does not yet know which warehouse to load goods in and where it should unload them. So the last thing you need to configure is whether it will load the good or unload them. Clicking on the warehouse, I guess. Configuration is valid for all caravans, so if you need to add more caravans to the same route, you only need to set the route. Okay, uh, monuments, first phase of mon- well, okay, so, <laughs> monuments are a little bit simpler, it's uh, just like in the Impressions games, uh, you just need to provide materials and whatnot, and it's a little bit far away from what we need to work on. So right now, let's set up our city here, and we do have some fertile land, so I don't necessarily know that I need to use irrigation right away. The first thing I will do is straighten up these roads, because this is kind of a mess. So, we will come in here with our dirt road, and uh, just bring it in, into there. I could just cut it across the whole way, but, um, you know, actually this looks a little bit better. I'm just thinking we can use this, but I don't want it to get too close. I uh, will leave it there. Uh, Okay, and then the destruction, we will destroy all of that. Now, now we need 32 standard houses, so let's talk about putting roads back in here. Let's see, if I can get an 8x8 structure here, 
well, not eight by eight. Eight by eight would be too small. Um, so maybe maybe on this side one, and then that side one. Let's try that. So without getting too close to you, we need to put something there. One, two, one, two, and then another one there, and then that will still be able to build in there. That's good. So uh, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we don't even need to go that far with it. We just need to go right there. That's very doable. And then we could get the same thing on the other side, actually. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know if those rocks are going to prevent me from building there. It will not. Perfect. So, and we just have it on both sides there, and that works out very well. This looks shorter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I guess they're not. Just a matter of perspective. Okay, first thing. Let's get down. Oh, should I draw the road there? Sure. And then let's get down a farm. Farm? A farm? <laughs> Jeez. Um, keeping it within the fertile area. And then we will do this. Do ourselves 36 possible. Then we will do a livestock farm. You know what? So this is kind of close there. I think we're going to need more. I feel like we're going to need more. So if I put, say, a warehouse here... I'm just, I'm just trying to think here. Because this, uh, this distribution thing... God damn it, where is it? There. It's going to take me a while to get used to the interface. I mean, this this will allow me to go here, but if I really want anything from there, well, I guess that's where we do the, the warehouse and then we send the caravan. Uh, 2,000 people means we're going to have plenty of population to utilize this for. So I guess that'll work. We'll just separate them. So this will be... Well, okay, and then, and then what? And then we can have pottery down here. So this could be a catch-all. Because we can put the pottery production here, the bread production over there. Although if we're going to have two farms, then... Well, you know what? We can make our own pottery thing here. So we'll have one caravansary pulling them to this one. And then we can have the, uh, the worker distributor uh, over here that then drags it around there. Okay, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. A little bit of, little bit of prep work here will hopefully save me a lot of grief later on. Okay, so livestock farm. Let's uh, let's talk about this again. Do that here. Maybe pull it back. I, I don't think I don't think that one is fully on there. Like I'm just looking at those corners right there. I don't think that will work. But if I pull it back, then we're going to get a lot of dead space there. So we'll pull it. We'll we'll put it here. Yeah. Okay. We'll put it there. And then grab you, come back in, and we need you to do pasture. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that's only 34, but then we can do two on the other side. Okay, that'll work. That will work. So we're going to have those. And we're gonna have okay. Well, before we before we focus too much more on this, um, let me get. I guess I guess I would need, you know. And then there's this guy who could catch both of these and drag it down here, because if I had that here catching wheat, say, and then turn to these, those guys would not be far enough because they would have to be within range of distribution. Okay, nah, this is not going to be clean. So anyway, let's just put down our homes that we need. We need all of these. I could even, I suppose, put down more just to get it over and done with. 
as soon as possible. And then, uh, you know, we have to have some place for this big monument, too. Now, this is customized, and this is just template. I think we'll just go with template. And uh, we have the first settlers. So this thing, I guess it's the blue one, it's talking about how there was a light green and a dark green. The light green is the minimum. So really we can, it looks like it's got a big footprint, but we really only need to do the light green, I think. So we'll let that run. Maybe get a few more people in here. We've actually got plenty of people now. Um, so let's do our warehouse distribution. Should I, should I maybe just have this pulled down? Well, if I'm going to put another one over here, it needs to be in a way that they can get to it. So, um, which, now that I look at that, might even be too far. Maybe it needs to be here. Uh, it doesn't hurt, I guess. Sure, it can be there. So, wait, wait, wait. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. So this... I guess we only want those two. We want nothing else. So it'll be collecting that, and then you will not be collecting that. Actually, you will. Because we want 12 of each, right? This is for the distribution. Okay. So, you're collecting that. And then, let's talk about this dirt road. Dirt road right there is not going to work because I don't think I can put these on top of that. No, I cannot. And these are three by three buildings too, so that's awkward. So what is the ceramics are only two buys, so that's better. We can actually get away with sticking that in some places. But it would be better to shape up some of these roads so they're usable. a little bit. This one I may as well just pull in because it's not useful for anything out there. It's not the right one. Wait a minute, does that actually go over the rock? Ah, damn it. Pick the road. It does. So we can pull it down even more. Ah, but then we're killing the we're killing the stuff that I built over here. I, I left it that way for a reason. So I could build inside. I, I realize I'm just wasting a bunch of time at this point. One, two, one, two. It's all you're going to get. So. Good enough. All right. Let's let this run for a bit. We still have a massive amount of people that we can put in here. So why don't we do that? Make use of them. We'll grab you, I guess, right there. There's the 36. Okay, so now let's try this caravansary. Uh, this should just go anywhere. Um, I'm going to leave it here just in case I want to put some bakers right there. Although they're out of range of this one. Think. How do I? Peel pollution. Uh, I'm trying to see the range of this thing. There's got to be a way. So I can just come back in here. So it's only it's only collecting this one. So, I would have to put two bakeries here, but this would still be out of range of. So let's actually lower this down to, say, 20, because we're going to have to take some bread in here. Now let's lower it even more in distribution like that. 
Okay. Come to here. Do the caravansary. This is going to require you to pull red from here to here. And then you are going to be required to pull milk from here to here. Oh, yeah. So this will be uploading, and then this will be offloading. Yeah, okay, good, good. So let's get back into not that production. This production will do two of you there, and I mean, really, I could just put two of them here. There does not need to be a reason for me to use this, because I could use this for my my brickworks and my clay pit ceramic work thing that I could have here, so I could have it closer. Um, so let's do that. Bakery. Two bakeries right there. And, you know, I appreciate some of the things that this uh, has included in its development, but uh, I think that this shows sort of the short-sightedness of the traveler range, the, the hauler range. The fact that you still need to have an extra building now, which is just an extra step to get it to go from one building to another. The accept get function in the, uh, the impressions games, I think, did this just fine. Uh, didn't always seem to work. In later games, it did. Um, and I mean, yes, there was that problem where you could inefficiently have them walk all the way across the map. And I get why they tried to fix that with the, the walker range, but I feel like this, having to have an extra building to do this, is just not the best solution to that problem. Um, okay, now we're ready for this. Which is actually right where it needs to be. So then we need to come in here and we need a worker who will be distributing that. Who will take it. We're going to need two markets here because I'm going to need you to be there, there, and uh, I guess then there. So then we need you to distribute milk and copy that. And eventually we will get a another one. And then for the other side, we'll have a market over here, I guess. I guess I can put the water on that side. Or, you know, here, realistically. But let's see if we can't get these people full up. Because we're not seeing a lot of goods stay here for very long. Which I guess is kind of how it is. Like, this building will fill up, and then fill up another one, and another one, and another one, and then it'll take a while to get to equilibrium. We're already halfway to where we need to be, though. Uh, that's pretty crazy. So that that also, I, I feel, is a little bit imbalanced, because clearly, by the time we hit this population, we will have way more population to house ratio than we need to be. Um, that's a little excessive. And speaking of excessive, we have a lot of people here, so let's speed this along and get some clay mines going. Ceramic workshops. They should start taking that there, and then once they do, we will have a distributor for pottery that will just copy the whole thing. So they should be getting this. We're not making enough bread. And that is weird to me, seeing as how we have enough. Got the correct ratio of buildings here. We are probably going to run low on milk, too, so let's go ahead and preemptively get that going. Uh, before that runs out. And I feel like that one is going to be a little bit harder to fill. Maybe not. If I do it here. 
we should get, still be able to get our 36 in here. So what the hell are you doing? Uh, okay, there's something there that's blocking that. So no, we are drastically short. Um, okay, we're just going to have to get rid of you then, I'm afraid. And find another place to put you. Alternatively, I can bring in some irrigation. The infrastructure. All right. Okay. So irrigation canal. Uh, I forget. Let me look at you. Farming. Irrigation is actually what I want specifically. What is the radius of this? Kind of looks like one. Well, it doesn't tell me. That is most unfortunate. Uh, I guess I could do it like that. I doubt that I can get a pump right there. Yeah, of course not. We'll do two, just because we can afford it. I guess. I guess we can afford it. Okay, now we have plenty. So now we'll go have ourselves a livestock farm. And I am actually a little bit skeptical. I feel like we're going to need more, yet more, after all, all this. And let's get you in there. Just barely. And hopefully we don't need much more than that. I th maybe this is excessive. Does that actually take anything up aside from money? It doesn't say. There's no tooltip on it. And I can't click on it to actually learn anything. So I would imagine that for this much, one is enough. But whatever. We'll be better safe than sorry. And we're not getting enough pottery, so I'm going to grab you and do another ceramic work. I'm going to try and get that going. So we need another market. And basically the same thing here. Okay, so that moves around. We now need another... Potter, another milker, and uh, just looking at what's available in here, that does make me nervous that this is going to take too much. I wonder how long these routes would go. Actually, you know what? Let's just, let's for a moment. Uh, thing is, though, uh, here's my thinking, okay? So they can only accept 10 goods at a maximum here. If I had one market go all the way around there, I just have a feeling that by the time they got here, they would never have enough to distribute. They would always be out by the time they got there. And with that in mind, I'm going to change these routes, actually. Um, I want you to, instead of come here first, I want you to go down... I, don't know. I want you to come here, then here, then back that way. And now I want you to copy that, and you to copy that. That way we're not constantly distributing to these guys first. Actually, they go last, because this one goes that way, comes this way, this one comes that way, and goes that way. So these guys will always be last now. But that's actually okay, because um, at least these two will be first all the time, going that way and then that way. These two will be the last ones to get it. But, uh, yeah. So these ones aren't getting enough milk. I do have this down here. There's no excuse for that. Milk is one of the most abundant things that we actually produce. We have that far more than we got bread, and far more than we have pottery. Pottery seems to take forever. I am afraid that I am not going to be able to get the monument done in this episode. Why don't we have standard housing on this stuff? Oh, because we're not distributing water. 
not distributing water yet. Which is... Damn it. One of these days. One of these days. Um, I guess here? Well, we'll do it here. So you... Distribute... Water. Oh, really, I only need one then. Because I can have you do the same thing. Only you will go here, here, then. Why, why are you being like that? Here. So we don't need you. Don't leave! There we go, there we go. Welcome back! I hope that they add a little bit more right-click functionality in this game, like the ability to click on people and have a little bit of dialogue. That was one of the charming things about the Impressions games. Your people at least seem to have personalities. They weren't just little sims moving along here. I like and dislike the right-click context menu. Uh, I guess this, you know, if, you, if you're trying to put down roads, this is a quick way of doing it. As opposed to coming to infrastructure and trying to remember where it is, you can just right-click and put down your basics. That's uh, something I think the later Anno games added. Um, for me, who never uses stuff like that, uh, I would rather have more of a little interactivity. Like, even being able to, to click on these guys. It's, it's left-click for everything, and, and I'm opposed to single-click functionality. Um, just in general. But, uh, you know, I mean, there's no, there's no reason you can't have a little bit more depth to this. Especially if you are trying to imitate the Impressions games. Okay. We are consistently low on pottery. Uh, so I guess I'll just have to make more. So, ceramic workshop. Damn shame, because it fits there nicely. How do I get another one? Are all of these... They're in range of somebody of some singular one of these. Um, okay, I guess it goes there, except it doesn't go there because that is in the way. Well, these aren't going to fit nicely, so I'm going to have to figure this one out. Does this go on one of these rocks? This will go on a rock. Okay, well, there's no, no other problem there that needs to be In fact, I could put it here. It will specifically grab this one, which I don't know if that matters. I think this one's going to take it to wherever. We're not... It's not an issue of clay, no. It's just an issue of those don't go fast enough. I guess another... Another solution... is instead of adding these, we have slots. I could add more of these workers. These guys are sitting here with no work, which means they're not grabbing clay fast enough, but we can see that we're sitting here with a stockpile of clay. So maybe that's the solution. Instead of build yet another one of these guys who has nothing, let's add another the worker there. And let's see if that produces enough. It says working, but I don't see any progress being made here. There we go. Okay. Well, hopefully that increases production to sustainable levels. We need more milk. We're running out of that pretty consistently. I really think this double market thing is hurting me here. Ideally, I'd probably be better off having another setup like this down here, uh, distributing to the one market rather than having both of them share here, because I think this is where we are suffering from having it pull constantly. Uh, although we're pretty close. We're pretty close there. Okay, well, so that is phase one. We just need more ceramics all around. But that's phase one. Uh, next, we have to complete this temple. We've got see this is what I'm talking about we got way more people than we need and we're not even full on housing here so uh, I feel like they need to balance these missions just a little bit better when you've got a thousand people 
that need to be employed. It's a, it's a little much. I guess in that case, if I am so worried about missing some of these things, I can go ahead and do more farms down here um, just to eat up that, that uh, population. And then, I mean, realistically, I could just drag a road out here and make another pottery development out there. I guess that's what you're meant to do. Um, just, I've got the workers, why not do it? But let's see how much workforce is required for this temple. And uh, I guess I will end this one here and we'll finish the mission next time.